that shaker. Don't do this at home. There you go. Hey, that chamber is full. This is our um, our wood chamber, the first chamber of our Naborigama, which means multi-chamber hill climbing shell. We had just spent the last three hours loading it, and you can see the different heights and sizes of pieces. Um, we have these little thimbles of refractory material called salt cups, refractory meaning high melting temperature, so they will stay solid and not melt. We are firing this kiln to almost 2400 degrees. We're firing cone 11 plus. And these salt cups volatilize sodium, sodium chloride, which interacts with the pot. And on a piece like this, you see right here, this is a slip, a kaolin slip that has a little iron in it that interacts with the volatilized directional sodium. The heat and the flame in this kiln start down here and move across the pots this way. So all our pots have a windward side, meaning into the direction of the flow, and a leeward side, which is downwind. So these salt cups will throw a little sodium vapor that will interact with the kaolin slip and the silica on this side of the pot creating a light sodium silicate glaze. So this side of the pot is going to have a little bit of gloss, a little bit of moisture, and it will taper to a dry side on the downwind or the leeward side of the piece. You saw me excessively blowing refined wood ash we have to give everything a little flecking. We use soft Wood, wood ash that at those temperatures will flux and turn into a glaze-like material and, and integrate into the glazes themselves, giving each pot a one-of-a-kind zen quality.